Hey, it's me Kiru Majan, and today I'm going to talk about the Oxford Royal Academy Summer School Scholarship. Yes, you heard it right. It's a summer school scholarship at the University of Oxford where a large number of scenes from the Harry Potter movies were filmed. Not only that, the summer school program will also be held at the University of Cambridge and Imperial College London, meaning you'd have a chance to visit a lot of places where Harry Potter movies were shot. So it's a two week and four week program. Now the scholarship is available only for the two week program and so I'm going to talk about that one. The program is for uh, students from the age of 13 to 18. So if you are of that age group, then um, the scholarship is for you. Now the program of the scholarship has been categorized into uh, the age groups, okay? From 13 to 15 and 16 to 18. The program time that you can see on the screen um, and I will uh, add the link in the description below so you can see the, all of the details. Now before I move on to the eligibility criteria of the scholarship, let me first explain as to why am I making this video at all. I mean, it's a scholarship at the University of Oxford. Should Pakistani students apply? Uh, well, let me tell you, each year out of the total number of students that are selected for this scholarship, the majority of them are from Pakistan. Surprise! Now this is the data that I collected from the internet. In the year 2015, they selected a total of 31 students, out of which 7 were from Pakistan. Which means that about a quarter of them were from Pakistan, 3 from the US and no one from India. In the year 2016, out of the to total 25 uh, students that they selected, 6 were from Pakistan. In the, year in the last year 2017, they only selected 5 students and out of which 1 was from Pakistan. No one from India or from the US. Now I am giving you the example of India and the US just because they are uh, in education wise they are really ahead of us okay and they are our neighbors too you know just like a family member says Dekho, usamne all clear ki medical mein select ho hai aur tum abhi tak baithe ya medical videos bana rahe ho just like that you are Pakistani too if you are watching this video I mean you might be from any other, any other country but most probably you would be from Pakistan if you are watching this video so that is why I say this that if you are from Pakistan please apply for this scholarship now, as I said, last year five were selected out of which one of them was for Pakistan. I was also one of them. <laughs> no, I wasn't accepted. No, I, was, uh, I was one of the applicants who got rejected. Now let's talk about the eligibility criteria. So students from the age of 13 to 18 can apply for this scholarship. They should also be in financial hardship. Now, it does not mean that they should be dying of hunger. It just means that uh, they cannot pay the fee of the, uh, of the course itself, which is uh, about 5,000 pounds, which equals about seven lakhs PKR, which is a big amount. No, no, none of us can pay it for just a two-week program. And that is the program fee, not the visa, the air ticket, your um, you know, extra money that you might spend there. And how are they going to know about your financial hardship? Well, they require the tax return papers. Uh, if you pay taxes at all, as a responsible citizen, you should. But if you don't, then it's a problem. They must be fluent in English too, or near fluent. And if you're not quite sure if, whether or not you're fluent or not, uh, they have said that you should contact on an email. That's uh, given right here. But this isn't the step one requirement, so just don't pay too much attention on it. And last, they should have excellent academic history. And there is no cutoff as to how much percentage or how much how, how many grades do they need but I think they should have consistent A's and if they are from FSE um, they should have at least 85% that is just I am saying okay because it's a, a competitive scholarship if you have low percentage then it's okay I'm just saying that having this scholarship will increase your chances of being accepted now what does the scholarship covers ah this is the most interesting part now the scholarship cover 100% of the course fee okay except the travel expenses to the UK um, and the visa fees okay so the travel uh, expenses the air ticket it will be approximately 56,000 rupees Pakistani and uh, what's included in this scholarship are you will be taught 20 hours of lessons per week which is a lot you'll get study material that is books and copies and different kind of thing that is required for your study there for free you will receive academic transcript and at the end you will receive a certificate of graduation and there will be a formal graduation ceremony. You'd also have free accommodation in Oxford, Cambridge, or London, depending upon where you attend the program. There will be free breakfast and dinner as well. Please note that lunch is not part of the scholarship from the age group of 16 to 18. For 30 to 15, yeah, this is included in the scholarship, but not in the case of 16 to 18. You get free Wi-Fi and you get your free private medical and travel insurance. You have a wide selection of evening and afternoon activities, that is frisbee, 
or funding or workshops, whatever you like. Now you would have tour of Oxford. You would also get tour of Bodleian Library, which is the Harry Potter library in the Chamber of Secrets movie. You get to visit Christ Church. It's actually the Great Hall from Harry Potter. Yes. You get to visit the bustling metropolis of London. You get to visit the Blenheim Palace and Hampton Court and a lot of other places. Okay. Now how can you apply? Or I should say, what are the steps of this scholarship? Now, number one is the online application form, which you need to submit before 24th November. Okay. Chai. Ah, yellow. Thank you. Okay, so after you submit your online application form, a shortlist of candidates will be published after review by the panel from ORA. Last year the deadline was January 15 um, and our shortlist was uh, uh, released on February, February 3rd. So I believe because this time the uh, deadline is 24 November, so the shortlist will be uploaded, I believe, uh, in late December. Those who are shortlisted will be asked to provide a reference letter or a letter of recommendation from a teacher. They will be asked to answer some more questions, online questions, and they will be asked to provide proof of their financial hardship in the form of tax returns and uh, bank statements and their recent result cards, etc. They will be required to submit all of these forms online uh, by a deadline, and after that deadline, they will say they will be stage three, in which they will verify all of this information and will inform the selected students that congratulations you have been awarded the Oxford Royal Academy Scholarship. Let's talk about the application form itself. Now the online application form includes some basic information about you and your institution from where you studied um, and, but, but includes two essay responses. The first one uh, has word limit of about 2000 characters and by character I mean doc is also included as a character. So you should keep that in mind because they restrict limit of 2000 character anything that write that is above 2000 character will be directly cut off uh, but for the second essay there is a word limit of 500 to 750 words now uh, the second essay this time this year they have changed it last year it was really interesting it was what would you like to have achieved by 2030 that was an amazing topic and my essay it was out of the world i got rejected because my score was really low first year score now let's talk about the essays. As I've said in pre my previous videos, essays are the heart of all of this kind of scholarship and ORA is nothing different. And in this uh, scholarship, your essay is the soul of this entire application. So let's say if you have okay grades, okay, you have like BBA or BAA in your A-levels or maybe you have like uh, 80% plus score in your FSE, which is not the best score, but it's a good score. But your essay is really astonishing. It is really well written and you have spent time on it. You have written a really good essay, then you'll be accepted. On the other hand, let's say, if you have brilliant educational history with straight A's or let's say 90% plus in metric and FSE, but your essay is okay. It's an article more than an essay, then you, have, you might have no chance of being accepted for this scholarship. Because remember that you are competing for this scholarship from students all over the world, including me. Keep that in mind. Now I will make a separate video about filling the online application form because I think you might have a little bit of problem. So by the time this video is uploaded, that will be filmed and edited so uh, just it will be uploaded in a day maybe watch that video to get guidance on how to fill the online application form and if you have any questions just leave them in the comment section of this video i'll be more than happy to answer them so like to many yeah. and yeah like my facebook page it's skedu marjan um you can see that because after this video, I'll be making a whole series about study in Germany, scholarship in Turkey, scholarship in Hungary, scholarship in China. Yes, and scholarship in the US too. A lot of videos. You don't want to miss them. So subscribe to this channel. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it, it's okay. And um, follow my Facebook page because it will keep you updated on uh, what video I'll be making in the future. Till then, I'm Kerim Marjan. Have a good one.